We're building the perfect CS2 crosser, one that's easy to see, works on every map and actually improves your aim consistency. There are two main ways to make a great crosser in CS2 and we're going to compare both and pick out the best option for you. Before we begin, make sure to like and subscribe if these guides help you out. So as I said, two ways to create your crosser. In CS2 you can either use the in-game settings paired with a workshop map for more customization or you can use an external crosser overlay like Crosser X or other free alternatives. This video is not sponsored but I'll show you a very very nice free alternative you can use which I've also personally used. So both options work incredibly well but they behave very differently and a lot of players pick the wrong one without knowing the drawbacks. So I'll go quickly through both of the options, present them to you and after that we're gonna take one by one and I'm gonna show you how to customize them and then you can judge it for yourself. Alright, here we are in CS2 for the first option, we're gonna go to play workshop maps, make sure to visit workshop if you don't already have this map and you're gonna hit play, that's all you have to do, wait for this to appear and make sure to jump so you can skip it, don't shoot, make sure to jump because that's better. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna choose the crosser style. This is incredibly important and it's most likely gonna define almost everything you, you do and use the crosser for. So we have dynamic, which you can see the crosser moves while I move or while I shoot. Then we have static, which um, doesn't move. Yeah, I can shoot it, I can move, doesn't move. Okay, let's change to hybrid, here we go. So it doesn't move when you move, it moves when you shoot. Personally, I like hybrid a lot, but uh, dynamic crossers are not for everyone. So whatever you pick here, it's your choice. I suggest you try hybrid, especially if you're not that uh, familiar with recoils or with uh, patterns, with spraying patterns and so on. So I suggest you try hybrid. It's not gonna annoy you while you move, but it's gonna help you shoot better. We're gonna go for length. Myself, I use something around 2, so here you can change the length of the lines. I find it that 2 is the sweet spot. You can also choose a thickness. I use a very thin one for the best accuracy. You can choose the gap size if you want. You can have a gap or you can have no gap, like this, or you can go into the minus and connect the lines. Or you can also have an outline, but the outline is just gonna make your crosser thicker and it's gonna be a bit harder to aim. You also have bots here if you want to, to try out the crosser. So I'm gonna leave it without outline for now. You can also choose to have a dot or not by pressing on for dot or off without dot. This dot will only appear if you have a gap. Here you go. I now have a dot, but I don't need that. So gap back to four. And you can also go for a T-shape. If that's interesting to you, you can disable the above part, let's say, of the crosser. So I'm gonna leave it like this. Here we have a few things like follow recoil. If you want your crosser to follow the recoil. So normally the crosser doesn't move. It only reacts to, to shooting. If you do follow recoil on on, then the crosser will follow your recoil it will move on the screen as the recoil moves. This is incredibly useful if you are just learning how the recoil works on different weapons. I'm gonna leave it to off. You can also have dynamic gap depending on the type of weapon you have. Friendly fire warning, I'd say turn this to off. I don't think anyone is dumb enough to not know when they're shooting their own teammate. So friendly fire warning on off. We have HUD color. This is the color of the HUD, the health and stuff like that, which you cannot see. I like something a bit darker. So purple, blue, red, all work. I'm gonna leave it to purple probably now. You can also choose a sniper crosser thickness. I'll go for one or two. Too thick and it's gonna, well, not help you. So I'll go with one. And you can also show target ID, which I'm gonna leave it to off, you don't need extra information when you're aiming at someone, you just want to kill them. So that's kinda everything you have to know for customizing this. You can choose from already made crosshairs here if you want, so you have tons and tons of, um, of features in this map as well. Choose a color, usually something like purple works pretty well, green also works depending on the map you play. And alpha make sure it's at 100%, you don't want a see-through crosser. Without further ado, you can save your crosser and exit the map. And like this, your crosser is saved. 
and we can now move to the overlay crosshair or option B. Now for option B, you don't want to pay money for crosshair X, that's fine, I don't want as well, that's why I found this little thing which is named Simple Sight and to be honest the name speaks for itself. It's such a easy way to have a custom crosshair and to also browse crosshairs made by someone else. This is not sponsored at all, it's just a very interesting program I wanted to show you. So upon opening the program you're gonna see a default crosshair appear on your screen. You can of course close the program from here in case you want everything to disappear. So as you could in CS, you can choose a crosshair style from cross or circle, which is a bit weird, or pixels, you can draw your own pixels and have your own custom crosshair. So this is especially great for trolling if you wish. So yeah, and custom, you can create your own custom crosshair from a PNG. Again, custom and pixels are pretty much for trolling or casual playing, you're gonna have to stick with cross. You can also disable or enable crosshair lines, so as you could in CS you can make a T, but you can also make a um, an upside down T, I don't know if you if anybody would like this, but why not, you can do that. You can also make the gap for your crosshair, it's much more customizable than in CS, you can go by pixels, I'll leave no gap, so zero gap. You can also have length, so I'll make it a bit bigger. Thickness, I'll make it with a thickness of 1. And you can also have an outline, which I'll make it 0. I don't need an outline. You can also choose the color, and again, here's where it comes in clutch. You can use any RGB color possible for a cursor. This is especially useful when choosing different maps. If you know you're gonna play on Anubis, which is all yellow, then you can pick a contrast color and it's gonna be very nice. And you can also choose the outline color. Then you have a dot size. If you want to have a dot, I don't, so you can set it to zero. You can also have a square dot or a circle dot, which the dot itself can also have a thickness and a color. And you can save this to your library. After you've done your perfect crosshair, you can just say my crosshair and it's gonna save it to your library. So if you go to library, you have my crosshair here, which you can rename, duplicate, upload or delete. You can go to workshop to see presets from other people. You open the workshop here and it's gonna probably lead you to Steam. And you also have some um, some features here. If you want to use the crosser with the full screen support, so when the game is also on full screen, then you're gonna have to enable this full screen support by installing an extension. You can also have a offset. I'm not sure in which cases you would actually use an offset, but if you need, you can. So this is the app. As I said, simple site, it's simple and it does a very good job at making a custom crosser. You can compare it and you can choose which one works best for you. For now, I'll keep using the CS2 built-in crosser if you ask me, because I like the dynamic functions, but if you're already used to everything, then this is just as good as a pick. So thank you guys a lot for watching and sticking around to the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.